Hello, dears. Welcome back on tutorial from the CATCAM. Today, uh, we will see the CAM tutorial. So in uh, this CAM tutorial, uh, we will see uh, we will see the how to obtain the planar sex uh, in the milling machine. So uh, in this tutorial, we will use the, in advance uh, this workpiece that is the, obtained by the part modeling. So just extrusion operation, so it is simple. And uh, we will go to the, uh, now to the, the manufacturing environment that select application and uh, select here the manufacturing. So uh, we uh, open up our the, the manufacturing, the CAM tools. So for the beginning that uh, we will create uh, the text for the milling operation. In order to create the text here, the select the menu, go to the, the insert and here the select the node that is the helps to create uh, some uh, letters, numbers in our the surface. So here the uh, obtain this one and uh, be careful that our the zero work face the coordinate system here on this surface. So here you can write, for example, uh, in advance it is written in the IT tutorials. Now I will change this to the, uh, for example, you can write any letters or number here. So an X, I will write like the NX Siemens uh, unique graphics. Unique graphics. So here you see the letter, the is the period. You see that you can place any any point here. Uh, in advance, that uh, before putting here, I will go for the beginning the, the settings of the letter. And here I change the the height of the letter from the two point three point four to the eight. I will make the bigger letter. You see the letter is increased. So let's close it and uh, go here. You see that you can put on the, this surface. So it is put it here. And I will write uh, another letter here. Instead of the, this one, I will write I, my the channel name, IK tutorials and uh, bring my the cursor here and uh, press it here one more again so and uh, just uh, close it so you see the 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 letter is created on the surface of the my workpiece and uh, since it is uh, created on this surface my the working plane is on this one so uh, be careful with the display also while they're creating your the model so in this case, I would like to create the machining operation for this letter and X Siemens Unigraphics and IK tutorial. So I would like to create the, the tool pass for the, these letters. So using the uh, machining operation here. For the, uh, for the first time, as usual, we will uh, define the workpiece uh, overstock machine zero point as usual for the machining operation. So. In this case, go to the, the machine, the geometry view here, and say so double click this icon in order to define the zero point of the workpiece. So it is the located here. As usual, you can put it to any point, for example, uh, directly to the uh, workpiece uh, zero point here. So let's define it here and just press OK. So this is our uh, zero point of our the workpiece now go here the workpiece to define our workpiece and the blank so specify the part select the here the our the part so it is selected press ok uh, to define the blank so we will define the blank type as a boundary block in this case and we will let's keep the all the values the zero 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 also the positive in the z direction 
press ok so we define it our the work piece this is this one and we define it our the blank this is this uh, rectangle blank so press ok so we define it our the set things for the, our the operation so and uh, now let's define the tool for this operation so in order to do this as usual we'll go to the create a tool operation we are in the mill planner type and uh, for the for the text milling we will uh, basically use the the end mill that is the flat or we can use the here the the ball milling now let's uh, use the end mill with the flat with the no angle oh and just press ok just uh, you can hear the uh, write the name for the mill by default it is like the call it the mill so let's uh, keep the tool name as a uh, the mill and just press ok here as usual that uh, you have to define it is the dimensions of the your the tool the diameter the cutting length the total length and some angles and so on let's the uh, keep the uh, this diameter of the tool as a two millimeter small because our the the our the letter sister small the width of the and uh, let's uh, keep the other the values as the default like this and uh, you can define as usual the material let's uh, keep it uh, the material as a high speed steel in this case and just press ok also you can define it as the shank the holder and so on so let's uh, press ok so we created our tool you can go to the here to the tool navigator and uh, see this is our tool and uh, you can uh, as usual the rename it to be more the efficient for example mill with the diameter is the two millimeter like this and just press enter so this is the, our the tool with the workpiece with the letter now is the uh, next step is to create the uh, the operation in order to do this go to the as usual the create operation so the type is the again the mill planner and here we have the planner text so this is the user the operation in order to obtain the some texts on the planner surface so basically like the simple uh, letters or simple the uh, numbers and so on let's click this one select as usual, the, let's define the location of the our the program. So as a location of the program, let's locate inside of the program. And here the tool is the tool which we created. Only the one here is the, in the list. Uh, you can uh, select this tool. And here the geometry is the, as usual select the workpiece. It means that uh, while uh, selecting the, this workpiece, we will define the automatically our the blank and the workpiece and let's uh, make it a finishing operation. So we can define the name of the, this operation. By default, it is the planner text. You can uh, write any name or you can keep uh, like this. The press OK. Now, as you press OK, you will redirect uh, this menu and uh, only here the important point is to define here the text that is specified. The drafting text is to this one and uh, by the selecting this icon, you will be directed to select the text to be the machine. In this case, I will select, uh, for example, uh, this text. So totally the, this uh, text is selected and again select this one and this one is selected is just press ok and uh, you can see by display of the this icon the selected text to be the machine as a planner text now the next uh, is to specify the floor so this one is also important in order to specify the floor so go to the, the this one icon and select the, the floor face here and so it is selected and just press OK. And the next step is to specify the tool. So by default, it is already selected automatically. So the tool diameter uh, two millimeters selected. So we can close it. So our the method of the operation is uh, finishing. So next step is to define the depth of our the text. By default, it's a 0 0.25. 
and you can define the, by yourself the depth of the text by yourself as you want. And uh, let's make it uh, one millimeter in all the cases and the uh, depth per cut. And uh, you can define the depth per cut. So every depth cut, let's make it uh, uh, 1.1. And it means that one divided 1.1, it is the 10. It means that we will have the 10 layers of the cutting depth. So, so uh, let's keep the blank distance zero since we don't have the blank distance. and. Uh, Let's, uh, for the beginning, they generate the toolpath. So you see the toolpath is generated here. And uh, with the showing the, with the rapid movement, uh, uh, the engagement and the approaching and cutting operations and so on. So uh, let's, uh, for the beginning, let's uh, verify the toolpath. So, uh, go to the, say the dynamic that you can decrease the, here the automation speed and just uh, click the play to see the our toolpath. So the first layer, remote, second layer, and the, the such a layer will be the 10 because the one millimeter depth is the uh, removed every 0 0.1 millimeter in our the input parameters as a cutting depth. So you say planner text is uh, obtaining. We can uh, increase the automation speed. So it is the finish it. Uh, one more trick again, let's click OK here. The, in order to see the result, in order to see the result more the, in an efficient way, we can here the right click to the, this work piece and just hide here. We will obtain only the the text, and let's go to the planner text again, and just generate the toolpath again. This is the method in order to see the more the efficient leader how our the planner text is obtained. So now let's uh, verify it again, and uh, let's uh, the, let's uh, decrease a little bit and just uh, play it. So in this case, you see that it is the more efficiently way how is the depth is obtained in the planner text. So this is the our the result. So how is the planner text is obtained in the in the NX? So uh, you can uh, change the uh, depth uh, the, the depth per cut and so on. And here you can define that it is the feed rate and speed as usual for the hour the cases. The, let's define the, the spindle speed as a 1000. And uh, let's uh, calculate the other parameters according to the spindle speed and just uh, press this icon. So they are calculated automatically and press OK. So this is the how is the, the system is obtained if you want to uh display the work piece again go here the here the part navigator and here the, the right click to the extrude and just show it so it will be displayed again and you can go again directly to the operation navigator in the in the left side of the, your the window so this is the how is the planner text is obtained so you see the tool number diameter with the two is to obtain it with the planner text and also you can see only the inside of the program if you open this one the planner text is the obtained by the this operation the same way you can generate the g code for this operation as usual you will select here the this program and uh, go to the process uh, the post process as usual and uh, you will select from the post processor the, the any post processor where you have so for our case let's select again the three axes as usual you select the uh, define the measurement unit that is the measurement unit of the pass is in the matrix so press ok and press ok in order to generate the code for this text planner operation which we have done so the G code is generated with a series of the lines uh, with uh, uh, 640 that end 
and starting from the I think the zero or ten. Let's see the result. Too many, too many from the ten. So this is the, all the lines that is the they use it in order to control the our the the our the the workpiece machining. So you can close it. So this is the the how is the planet text is obtained in the in the NX cam operation. So thank you for your attendance here on the next lessons.